the inflow matrix operating system is uh, made up of many different models done by very advanced human thinkers and some by me and some that are blend both. And Ken Wilbur is one of the heroes to me of uh, transpersonal exploration of consciousness. And he's, he's very well known in the world and he has something called integral theory. And at the base of integral theory is the, is the, is the background of the four quadrants. And so this map that's right here is the basis of that. And you have two basic distinctions, one between the individual and the group, and one between the inner and the outer. And this creates the inner individual, the outer, outer individual, the inner group, which is at the organizational level, and the outer group, which is at the community level. So infographics is also very important in terms of how we represent information. And if we switch this, to this, we have, again, the inside of you, the outside of you, you and the group, and you and the community. And this is one way of seeing something, and we can also switch it like this, where you have the inner individual as the beginning of a lens, and then the outer individual, another lens, and then the inner group, another lens, and the outer group, or the community, with another lens. And so what this is, is it's the beginning of multidimensional thinking. It's the beginning of the mind holding different levels of perspective at the same time and beginning to bring in words at each different level. So you can have a word or lens at the inner you, a word or lens at the outer you, a word or lens at the inner group, and a word or lens at the outer group. An example of this can be at the community level, the word is education. And at the group level, the word is learning. And let's say at the individual, outer you is job. And at the inner you, it can be limits. So you're looking at the limits of the job of learning in education or educational learning job limits. And it's a, a different type of grammatical structure where we're beginning to use conceptual models to bring a grammar of language together where meaning now is derived by where something is placed in the conceptual model. Now this may be a big jump. It, I know the abstract or the pattern mind loves these kind of things, but the concrete physical mind doesn't. And so it's a skill to be strengthened and used but this whole world is built upon abstract patternings and it's the architects and the game designers that are behind everything and they're using their pattern mind all the time to organize all the other information uh, below in the whole newosphere. And so having that ability to think with the pattern mind, having the ability to design your ideal job and you being able to design your ideal business thinking system and then sharing that with others in, in, in something called a shared, shared knowledge community and utilizing an operating system called the inflow matrix is what these maps are all going to build together. So my huge gratitude to Ken Wilbur and all the other uh, transpersonal theorists who <clears throat> are diving deep into the true nature of consciousness and how we organize things in the mind. And I'm uh, hoping to integrate and connect all of these different teachings and ideas and models into one whole system that makes sense, where we can begin to see where everything fits. And what Ken Wilber has done is he has brought down the mapping identification system to these two main axes of the individual, the group, and the inner and the outer that we all share. Like there isn't a human being on the planet who can say, I'm not an individual or I'm not in some kind of groups. And there's no one who doesn't have an inner and an outer. It's just these are universal words, universal principles, universal models. And what we're looking to do is how do we connect them all together to create a shared reference point in the mind so that we can do business together in the new paradigm. 
and do it in a cooperative way and do it in a way where we're not attempting to take or steal or uh, manipulate or deceive uh, anyone that we're doing business with that we're all up front in our integrity because we're living through our value system which has been programmed into the operating system and which everyone has agreed to use and utilize because we see that as the basis of our own spiritual growth together that uh, it's the utilization of love or courage or innovation or inspiration or empowerment or any of the other values that exist that when we embody them and when we embody them together we are at like a, a higher level of human expression. And that's where I think the whole species deep down wants and needs to go, is we want to be part of an ethical business system that is peaceful and loving and good for us, good for the world, good for all species. And that's where the, the, this is aiming at going and doing for everybody. So if you've come this far, thank you very much and uh, have a great day.